So we send newsletters. Our goal is to send them every six weeks. Um, and we have generally been successful other than holiday season <laughs> for that. Um, and we send about 50 of those uh, via snail mail. And the rest of them, several hundred of them, are via email. So the bulk of our newsletters that are going out are via email. And Gary and I have pretty much developed a system that works well for us um, with the delegation of tasks. And I'll let him talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so we found out that we do things very differently <laughs> and that sometimes it's best for us to, to work on our strengths with a newsletter. So one of my strengths is just kind of creating, I'm not that creative of a person, but creating That's stuff. So I do best when I just get an idea in my head, I write down a little article, and eventually that becomes the base for the newsletter articles. So anytime throughout the weeks or months, whenever I have an idea about a newsletter article, I'll just write on my computer a short you know, 200 word thing, which is about what length they get in the newsletter. Uh, rough draft, just whatever I'm thinking, and I'll put that in our Dropbox partnership development folder. And then from there, when it comes to actually being time to create a new newsletter, I go to the Word document that has all of the articles that Gary has written, and I will take one out that is pertinent to what we want to say that month, and I will put it into the template that we have for our newsletter. We have um, a basic design that is the same every time, and we just switch out the articles and the pictures. And I will edit and kind of rework those articles so that, that they are the right length and so that um, they are, I don't want to say, um, properly finished, I guess, <laughs> would be a good way of, of putting it. Because as Gary said, what he does is a very rough draft. And so I make sure that it has all of the necessary elements of a newsletter, having the passion, having the right length, having... Um, I don't know, just what we want to convey to our partners um, that with that newsletter. So that is most of our strategy for doing that. And then after she's done kind of reworking it, I'll double check everything, make sure that uh, we haven't forgotten a word, that it all looks good and everything. Mm -hmm. And then we send them off to Wycliffe to double check and make sure that it's all appropriate. After that's all been done, we then send them out uh, via either snail mail or email. We actually have different versions based on whether the email one uh, should have a link to our partnership page or whatnot. Everything that we mail out, we want it to have a handwritten something on it, just so it shows that we put a little bit more effort into it. The strategy for both the creation of the newsletter and for sending it out have actually worked very well for us. Um, we uh, are able to each work on the parts of the newsletter that cater to our strengths. Um, and we actually um, have gotten a lot of positive responses from our newsletters. And, you know, not everyone. You know, you don't expect to hear back from everyone that you send your newsletter to. But in general, the people that we've sent it to have really appreciated um, getting updates on what's going on with us. And we've had comments about the articles that have been written and the the themes that are in there. So it's been a really good experience of um, developing and sending out these newsletters.